Hello my fellow witches, Tracy here with your reading for this week. Um, and yeah, I did something a little different. <laughs> um, yeah, I just wanted to do something a little fun. Um, it's still going to have, you know, that witchiness to it. Um, but yeah, just something a little bit more fun. That's what I, I was hoping for and I hope, uh, you know, looking at that picture brought a smile to your face. That's all. So, um, so yeah, so I'm Tracy slash Adora. Um, I do these readings once a week. If you're new here, hi. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe down below. It really does help. Um, also, um, I'm not going to say give me a thumbs up yet because you haven't seen what I do. So save that for later, shall we? Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, I am in my backyard, so apologize for the noise. Um, but you know, it's early and I just want to sit here and uh, give this a go. So the background might change. As you know, I take breaks in between each part. Um, so yeah, so the background might change. We'll see how the noise level goes. Alrighty. So uh, with that being said, there's nothing really... Um, you know, other than we're all still sitting here within this pandemic and not knowing where we're going or what we're doing. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that seems to be, it seems to be that we've all kind of gotten norm, like, used to it, like it's our normal life now. Um, and yeah, hey, if that's the way it goes, you know, every generation has something that makes a change, you know, a curve in our, our, uh, our regular life. So this is ours. Yay, Gen X. Ha <laughs> um, So, uh, yeah, let's hope the younger generation doesn't have anything more. Um, yeah, this is enough for uh, for everybody for a while. Yeah, pandemic and, and riots and wow. Let's hope we can all just become one. You know, one. That's my, my hopes, my dreams. We all just become one. So, yeah. I went off in La La Land. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, with that being said, let's get into uh, what everything that you picked, even though it was a little cartoon character, still, still, you know, you were drawn to that for a reason. So let's find out why. I told you the background might change. <laughs> the sun's coming up right there. So um, where I had the tripod, you could see the tripod reflection in my yeah anyway okay let's start so the first pile was the starfish now the starfish represents um you have a feeling of hopes aspirations and ideals um there's things that you want to reach for but the issue with the starfish is that um, the starfish usually needs something to help them move you know, especially something to help them move a little faster. Alrighty, so uh, that's something to re maybe, you know, you need to you know, think about. Think about. Maybe, uh, you know, that's something you didn't realize. There's something that you want um, that you're waiting for, you know, just that little push. Well, here it is. I'm pushing you. Go for it. Alrighty. Alright. So this, 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 this video, I think, is going to be a little shorter than the other ones just because I wanted to do that. Alrighty. Um, so the flamingo. Uh, the flamingo is seeing with poetic perspective. Now, what that means, as what I'm making it, and how it means in my head, and it's my video, I'll say what I want. Uh, how, how it means is that you seem to, uh, you see things kind of outside of the box. Like, I think of the flamingo. Okay, the flamingo, it's pink but it's not actually pink, it's just dyed pink, okay? That happens because of the shrimp that it eats, um, the, that they eat, I should say. Um, yeah, it dyes their feathers pink, they're actually white. All right, so, so things aren't always what they seem. You see, you, you see um, like as, as in a poem, you know, you've got to read it and feel, listen to those birds, you've got to uh, feel and see and, you know, what the meaning behind it is. And that's kind of a little bit of what you are maybe, you know, you never know, you never know. Um, okay, then we go to the surfboards. Now, the surfboard represents um, opportunity to... Uh, put the, put the, Opportunities, freedom, skill, balance, steadiness, courage. Um, now, it's again, you think about surfing. 
you know, it's it's not everybody's sport. Um, it's um, it takes a special, you know, skill. It takes balance in your life. It takes steadiness. Um, you need to know how to react in something. You know, gets thrown at you like a wave. Okay, so you tend to be a little bit more of the go getter. Okay, you tend to be the one that um, likes to take adventures. Um, you know, likes to you know. Uh, spontaneity is something that yeah let's go do that all righty so surfboards there's a little something and then we ended with the sun i love the sun um enlightens elegance a session and a universal fire now the sun yeah it it, it represents um just somebody who is uh, just uh, kind of tends to be more on the positive side um, looks at you know a glass half full instead of half empty um, somebody who looks to the future with optimism and positivity uh, is uh, you know is that that person that you would go to um, whenever you're down or upset um, knowing that they would be able to Put a smile on your face okay so um there we go that's the uh four different meanings behind each little pick that i picked um let me know was 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 i on cue was it uh did you identify with those uh descriptions you know is that something that uh that you feel is you let me know comment down below you know keep me up keep me up Alrighty, so uh, with that being said, we are going to get into the readings. Just like that. Easy peasy. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll see you in a minute. Alrighty, so that was pile number one, or the picture of pile number one. Um, and let's get into actually doing it. Woohoo! I had um, going to had x-rays done on Wednesday, I think it was. Um, my hands have been getting very, very sore. My left is worse than my right, thankfully. Um, I'm right-handed, but my right is also bad. So, yeah. Hmm. Eight of Swords. Okay, now that kind of fits in with these whole, with the starfish. You know, it really does fit in with the starfish. Hopes, hopes, aspirations, and ideals, things we want to reach for. So now that Eight of Swords is kind of telling me that, you know what, you're, um, you're feeling like you can't accomplish what your hopes, aspirations, and dreams are. You feel like there's things that are in your way. There's obstacles. You, uh, you got a blindfold on. You need to look. Look in the right places. Maybe looking in the wrong places. Let's go. Let's see. Yeah, see, and that one there jumped out at me. Okay, and this is where it wants me to stop. Oh, this is where we're going to stop. Alrighty. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you want to make your mark somewhere. That's that's what you're... And then we've got the Nine of Wands. Three of Cups. Okay, I see things coming around. Let's see here. Queen of Wands. Then we've got that High Priest. Ooh, 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 ooh. Princess of Wands. Then we go to the Six of Wands. Okay, we've got a lot of things going on here. We've got that Strength card. And then we've got the Prince of Wands. Okay, we've got the whole family of Wands in here. Okay, well, let's see. Okay, like I said, the Eight of Swords. That one, yeah, that one there is um, you just feeling like you can't... Um, you can't you can't um move forward you're, you're kind of like don't know where to turn what to do where to go um because you feel like if you take the wrong step um it's just going to make you go like you're going to fall backwards instead of going forwards um but you know what you you you, you this is three of pentacles you want to make your mark you want to that that's that's there for you you know uh and then we've got the Nine of Wands. That's you uh, with that uh, defense, that whole, um, I'm tired. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't. That's all I'm getting. I can't do it. Uh, no, 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 no. You need to realize who you are. The Three of Cups, there's going to be, uh, this, you're going to have, something's going to come up and you're going to, uh, I, I know I say 
three of cups is celebration and and that is what it is sorry i got squirrels jumping all around me <laughs> uh the three of cups is a um it's that celebration, but it's also represents a camaraderie with with friends and and family. And you've got this inner circle. You've got this inner circle of friends that have been kind of pushing and 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 you know, you need to listen to them. You need to listen to them, okay? Because you know you're you are well. I'm not say you need to. You are going to listen to them because how things are progressing. Um, once you have that, um, have like a little get together, you know, with, with these restrictions and stuff being lifted, have a, have a, have a night, have a, have a, have a friend's night, have them come over, uh, and sit and have this talk about everything that, um, you've been going through and, and where you want to go and what you, you know, share it, share it. It's, it's not silly, nothing silly. Okay, um, I don't think that they're going to think down of you because of it. Um, it just, I get a feeling like it, it's a switch in what you're like, a complete switch in what you are doing now to what you want to do. Um, yeah, like you want to change completely, and there's nothing wrong with that. Our whole, our, like, our, it's the same thing, like, uh, our, uh, we change like every seven years. So, why shouldn't we change up here and our hopes and dreams? Why shouldn't they change as well? Okay, so you know what? Have that get together because I have I have a strong feeling after that, you're going to have a new fire under you. This Queen of Wands, this is this is this is you. I, I see you really coming into terms with who you are and where you want to be and where you want to go. Um, this whole Three of Cups thing with this with this talking about it with people is really going to be a turnaround for you. It really is. You like it, it's going to. Uh, it's going to give you that push, that push that you need, okay? Um, and then we've got the high priest. Um, I, I'm just going to show you all of them to see where I'm going with this and why I'm getting excited and happy about it. And then we've got the princess of wands. And then we've got the six of wands. And then we've got the strength card. And then we've got the prince of wands, okay? So this is all representing you taking control of your life. Okay, that's what this is. This is this is you, um, uh, Queen of Wands, having that strength, having that fire under you to to you know what I know where I want to be and I know where I want to go and that's I, I'm I'm doing it. I'm ready now. Okay, I'm not worried about anybody's gonna think or what anybody's gonna say because I'm the one that needs to be happy. Okay, because once you're happy, that emits around you and everybody around you gets happy as well okay positivity attracts positivity all right all right I, I believe that strongly um then we come into this high priest this high priest he is somebody who is funny quirky uh very um outgoing uh tends to know how to uh, right in my head i got get into the back door of a really busy club Okay, he knows he knows ways and knows things on, on how to help you get what you want. Uh, you know who that is. Or if you haven't met this person yet, you will. Okay, um, it, it's going to be something you're going to find once you come into yourself. This person's going to be the one that's really going to show you um, the road that you need to travel. Okay, he's going to like give you a map more or less of what you need to, what stops you need to do along the way to get to your end line. Okay, um, and then we've got the Princess of Wands. That's you taking that first step onto that path. Okay, you're going to start that road trip that this High Priest has mapped out for you. Okay, you're taking that, um, and then we've got the Six of Wands. That's you. That's you've taken control and you've got other people following you now positivity attracts positivity okay once you once you get out of this frame of mind and this frame of mind is when things are really going to start coming in for you okay um six of wands and then we've got the strength card okay you've tamed a boar there okay this this you're going to have this strong strong feeling within yourself okay you're going to feel like you can do anything be anything all right 
And then we've got the Prince of Wands, and that is gung-ho I am ready to go this is my life this is where I am going so all this is going to happen for you it's all there for you it, it's been mapped out you just need to get out of your own head a little bit okay and get this get together get this get together with these people you know who they are you know who they are uh, with the ones that have been telling you and pushing you and, and saying you could do this and you can do that and and you know get together with them write everything down beforehand plan out your conversation there's nothing wrong with that because you've got a goal in t you've got a goal okay you've got a focus you've got it you 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 see that map and you've got this X on where you want to be you just don't know what road to take okay this group of friends is going to give you the car to start that okay and then once you come into that and you start searching um, and trying to realize where you want to be and where you want to go is when you're going to meet this high priest okay this is the person that's going to say okay this is where we need to go okay and then I, I get the rest is princess of wands you taking that first step six of wands taking control and <laughs> having some followers along the way, okay? People that want to um, know all about the path that you're taking, people that want to, um, you know, you're going to start teaching people. I don't want to say, well, teaching is, yeah, every time you learn something new, you're being taught, okay? Whether it's, uh, you know, telling somebody how to cook pasta, you're teaching. So you're going to teach and talk about everything that you have gone through, and it's going to help somebody else. Okay, uh, strength card, you've got that in you. You've got that in you and you know it. And then the Prince of Wands, you have in that really gung-ho um, ambition in life. Uh, th this really uh, just things just, I, I, just coming together and, and you getting to where you need to be. Okay, that, that's ending with that Prince of Wands is, is a very, 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 very good good card to to end this on you just really need to get out of your own head get out of your own head um you know we've got the head the heart the gut okay uh, the head tends to be yeah let's jump off that cliff um and then the heart's like uh, oh but you know what what if and then if you get that feeling in the gut that feels like somebody just stabbed you well you know what that's not a smart idea Okay, so sometimes we need to listen to our gut and um, get out of your head. Okay, butterflies, family changes. Okay, see? Get out of your own head and that's where things will start to change for you. Okay, they're coming. They're on the way. Eh, bird feeders. <laughs> I have one in this grade. I like to see the birds go to it. Um, so yeah, there, there's things that are going to um, change once you find who you're supposed to be, okay? It, it, you don't realize the effect that one person has on other people. You don't realize it um, until you tend to open your eyes and you see. Um, like you go into a room all happy and talking about good news and everybody's going to be happy. You go in and you sit in the corner and you mope. Well, people are going to wonder what's wrong with you and that's going to bring them down as well. You know, it, it don't, and I'm not saying this to make you feel bad because you're having a bad day. I'm saying this to, to, to help you understand that we all feed off of each other. Okay. And, um, once we, there's a time and a place to to okay you know what? i'm sad let's talk about it or i'm sad let's sit on in on ourselves and and be what we need to be but with this you've got so much positivity around you that they're pushing you and telling you you need to do this you can do this you can do that you can do this you can you can you can get out of your own head then we've got the sacred traveler. What are they? Stepping into power. You are strong beyond measure. Okay? That strength card didn't come up for nothing. Alrighty. And then we go into... Oh! 
birthday. A significant birthday holds the answer to your question. That could be this Three of Cups, okay? That could be that Three of Cups. Is there, um, you know, somebody's birthday that's being planned? Is there something, you know, once this whole thing is lifted, is there something happening? Um, keep your eye out. Keep your ear out, okay? Alrighty, so um, that was pile number one, the starfish. Um, I think it really does represent uh, what the starfish represents. The reading really did go into it on, on, on who and where you want to be and where you want to go. And uh, yeah, so uh, there you go. That's pile number one. Um, I, if you haven't already, I hope you give me a subscribe down below. Like I said, it really, really does help with the whole YouTube thing, the, all, uh, the whole algorithm type stuff. Um, if this resonated with you, if you like the reading, if you like the story, give me a thumbs up. That, uh, again, I like seeing those. And comment down below. Let me know your story. Let me know your story. Let me know, um, you know, what you need help with, what your goals are, what your aspirations are. And, uh, you know, let's see what we can do to help get you there. Alrighty, so that was pile number one, Starfish. You all have yourselves a very, very, very good day. <laughs> Bye now. Alright, so pile number two, the flamingo, the floating pink flamingo. Alright. Type of person that thinks outside of the box a little bit. Poetic? What was the word? Poetic perspective. It's actually very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Da, 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 da. Ah, there we go. Okay, let's see here. What do we got? Ooh, five of cups. All right, nine of pentacles, six of swords. Hmm. And we've got the hermit. Four of Cups. Where are we going with this? Where are we going? Hmm. Give me a moment, will you? Okay, let's talk through this. Let's talk through this. Okay, Five of Cups. Five of Cups is um, kind of telling me you're gathering. You're gathering, you're planning something. Um, so you're gathering what you need. You're, you're, you're still a little um, unsure of where you're going, but, but you're gathering. You're gathering what you need. Um, then we've come into the Nine of Pentacles, and this is somebody who um, is pretty strong in themselves who are um, quite um, sure of who they are and where they want to go and who they want to be. Um, but we kind of have, this This is where things are getting a little, Six of Swords. Um, Six of Swords is one of those, um, you're coming back from something. You're, 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 um, you're on your way back from something. You've, you've had, um, you're, you're a healing from something. Um, cause then we go into the hermit. Um, and uh, the hermit is somebody who is really withdrawn. Um, somebody who, um, is very knowledgeable, very informative, uh, somebody who wants to make sure that they have all their information before they proceed. So it kind of makes sense with the Five of Cups. Um, but the whole problem with that um, is then, like, we're getting into the Four of Cups. Now, the Four of Cups is... You're still in that state of... Oh, you know, uh, but I'm optimistic, very optimistic because we come into the four of swords. Now with the four of swords, um, it, it's kind of going to be the end of the healing journey. I want to say, um, the kind of the, the, you're going to have a moment of, uh, a moment 
probably more than a moment, it's like a week, a weekend. I, I don't know how long it takes for your brain to process things. But uh, you're going to have a moment of, of I want to say clarity. You're going to have a moment of, um, it, it's going to be one of those that you're just going to be, huh. You understand, does that make sense to you? Sorry, I don't have my hearing aids in and things get muffled after a while. Um, so yeah, it, it's going to be, it, it's like sun coming over the horizon type of light bulb in the top of your head type of moment. Um, and then we get into something like a little bit off of that track. Um, and then we go into the two of cups. Okay, so the Two of Cups is is a, um, you're really going to come in to yourself after all of this, okay? Because I, I, I see a really switch with a partner, um, either uh, the beginning of one or, or a, a, a turn in a current one, like a complete switch, okay? Um, it, it's going to be like, okay, that's who we were meant to be. Um, it, it's going to be like, it, it, like it all goes back to how, you know, you affect others and positivity attracts positivity. You know, I say a lot of, I say that often and it's because I strongly believe it. Um, but like, it, it's going to be like this four swords is going to, to be like, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, now let's, let's plan that path. And then that's, Two of Cups is like you doing it. And then we get into the Seven of Pentacles. And that one is, is again, is you gathering. You you um, you kind of you kind of almost go back into the hermit phase for a little bit, but not in a bad way. Um, it, it's like you're gathering what you need in regards to, um, I want to say, uh, moving on in, in um, home life. Okay, like the five of cups was was you um, longing for something that that was there, but you kind of lost some of it. Okay, um, nine of pentacles is is saying who you are, you, and then the six of swords is you kind of you're coming back. You were the nine of pentacles, but something happened. Um, but this and the six of swords is to, is you're on the the healing journey. Um, you're on that healing journey and you're not alone. You're not alone on that healing journey. And I know I'm going back before I finish one just because this last card is significant. Okay, this last card is significant. And, and uh, so so the Six of Swords, you're coming back from a journey of healing, of, of, of uh, trauma. But you're not alone. You've got somebody holding your hand. You've got somebody holding your hand and, and is guiding you on that healing journey. Um, uh, the hermit, uh, th that's, that's where you went. That's where you went um, in, in regards to trying to heal yourself. So, you know, it's not a total, um, like, you know what you need to do. You know what you need to do to get through this, okay? Um, so going into that hermit phase really isn't a bad, bad place to be because, like I said, they, they see things that nobody else can see. Um, they're learning things um, that they need to learn for themselves. They're, they're um, learning things what they need for others, okay? So going into the hermit phase isn't too bad. Um, but then we go into the Four of Cups. Now, the Four of Cups, like I said, is like you, you, you've, you've lost touch of what you have gathered so far, okay? You're feeling like it's, it's, um, things are out of reach again, but you know what? You, you, you just need to realize, no, you still have some stuff. It, it, there's still some stuff there, okay? You just don't see it right away. Open your eyes, Open your eyes and you'll see it. Okay, and then that's when you're going to come into the Four of Swords here. Um, this, this rest and relaxation mode of, of where things are going to be like, huh. You no, know, I stepped back a little bit. I don't want to step back. I want to keep stepping forward. Okay, so that's when things are going to have that switch for you. Alrighty, and then we get into this Two of Cups where, where like, because you've had that light bulb go off, things are switching and changing in regards to um, a relationship. 
okay now whether like I said it, it, it's it, it, it's one of those um, whether you're in a relationship it's going to be a switch in, in how things are going things are going to move kind of like a dance all right and if you're not in a relationship there is one coming there is one coming because you're 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 attracting uh, uh, attracting that uh, uh, you just got that new joie de vivre about you okay um and then we go into the seven of pentacles where where you know what okay i've done a lot i've done a lot um now you know what i'm in a good place right now now i'm just gonna i'm just gonna float here okay and there's nothing wrong with that you're you're, you're gathering stuff for yourself because you know what you, you you've you've done a lot you've done a lot and and things are going to start moving smooth okay and because of now this is why I went and redid everything because this is the strength card. This is the card that is telling me that you know what, you are going to be okay. Because you have the strength within yourself. You can accomplish anything with swords down. Okay, you don't have to come up as, as defensive. You don't have to be offensive. You, you, you just, you are you and you've got that inner strength about you that, that um, everybody is going to see. Okay, um, so yeah, like you need to remember who you were, who you want to be again, okay? Um, and let's avoid this whole stepping back. All right. When I, you know, you're still healing. You're going to be that way for a little while longer. All right. You need, you need to, you need to. Um, so when that light bulb goes off and you realize, okay, no, I'm, I'm ready now to get out and start, start living and and start being part of life and start being part of things, um, is when things will will really really switch for you. Okay. So um, I, I'm not sure if if something happens when you when you start coming out of the hermit phase and something happens that ha that makes you step back a little bit and start doubting things um but i kind of got that feeling um just know what it is and it's like no i'm not going there i am not going there i'm staying up i'm staying positive i'm staying happy because this is what's going to this is what's going to um move me forward in, in the person and the place i want to be okay so um yeah so oh wow yeah there we go so that is was um and no i'm not done yet that was those we're gonna do the butterflies we're going to do my oracle cards like i always do i kind of jumped the gun just because i like this one this one is showing a, a person that has a, an inner strength which is exactly um like the um yeah the flamingo um you know it, it, it things aren't always as they seem all right um, and and sometimes people might not realize uh, what you need and who you need to be because you seem to be a person that that really um, does wants <laughs> wants to do things completely on their own um, but you need to remember that um, the six of swords there's somebody there there's somebody there holding your hand and and helping you so you think you're alone doing it um, but you're not always okay relationship dynamics that is where we're coming into yeah that's who you're going to be you're going to have this um, like I said this you're, you're going to start attracting um, just instead of being this soul inner um, person and keeping everything in and and you know it, I, I want to say loner it's not a nice word, uh, but I get a strong feeling that that's kind of who you are, and um, everybody needs somebody, okay? So, relationship dynamics. Uh, remember to let some people in. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, as long as it's the right people, all right? Um, you keep those toxic people out of your life. Nobody needs them. You get rid of them completely. And, um, yeah, okay, and things like, like that, things will change for you, because you've got that strength, that's, 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 
I love getting that card in a reading. I really do, especially something like this where it's a lot of um, like really inner things because things will things will come together for you. They really are. Oh! Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. That I've um, I'm I'm like 99% sure I'm developing or developed arthritis in both my hands. My left is worse than my right, thankfully, because I hold the deck with my left. Um, but um, my right is still sometimes just, whoo. Okay, ah, fogged in, go slow, take time. See that, look at that, with the Six of Swords. You're coming back from that healing, okay? Um, yeah, take your time said like I said you're not done in in that hermit phase yet okay now I say hermit phase it's just because it's one of those where um, you still haven't figured out um, in your own head uh, how to proceed okay and you're the type of person that needs to know how to proceed before um, you start trying to let somebody in all right um, so yeah, so that's kind of what I mean when I say hermit face. <laughs> um, it, it's just more of somebody that likes to be alone, um, but it's because they're 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 doing something. They're gathering. They're they're getting what they need. They're learning. They're they're li like learning is the big thing. Okay, let's see what the fairies have to say. Fairy, 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 fairies. All right. Sun. Your son is watched over and protected as he explores his world. When I get this card, um, it always hits me in the gut a little bit because I know this is for a certain person who has um, picked this pile. He wants you to stop um, crying. Be happy. That's um, that's the healing. That's the healing. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Okay. So, um, I'm, I'm going to, um, sometimes I, uh, I just want to see if the fairies have anything else to say. <laughs> affirmations. To lift up your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire, use positive affirmations. Um, again, positivity amidst positivity. Um, you know, if you've been sad and and um, and crying for longer than is necessary, no, I know that's the wrong word. I take that back. Um, everybody grieves in their own way, um, and everybody has a different idea of how long that should be. And yes, there are times when it is an unhealthy length of time. Uh, where we need to have um, a way to help us out of it. That is kind of, no, uh, well, not kind of, that is where I, I believe these cards are going. Um, affirmations. Uh, and then we have walk away. Leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open as a result. Um, so... Yeah, it's, it's, things are, 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 wow, yeah, that, this all really makes sense. This all really makes sense. Um, this healing, remember, you're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. Um, 
you know, you need to do what you need to do to, to grieve and to get over. But at, at some point, um, you need to live. You need to live. Um, life is precious. And uh, yeah, it is. And uh, you still have yours. Okay. So um, that was um, that pile. I don't want to get into my regular spiel, so I'm just going to say stay happy, stay positive, keep smiling, find a reason to smile. Okay, find a reason to smile. Because I'm sharing mine with yours. I'm trying to give you all the, the happiness and the positivity that I have to you. Alrighty, so try to smile. Have yourself a very, very good day. As best as you can. Thank you. Hello. Alrighty, so the surfboards. All right, opportunities, freedom, skill, balance, steadiness, courage. All those words represent somebody who would pick the surfboard. Is that you? Hmm. Well, let's find out what the cards have to say about that, huh? All righty, let's go. Yeah, this arthritis that I'm developing in my hands is uh, making things hard to shuffle my cards. I have to find a new way to shuffle. It's, it's hard because whenever I do, well, no, how do I feel? Not the cards. I don't know if I don't feel it in the cards. Well, I do, but I don't. These ones are taking a while. I guess they're really uh, trying to be sure of what they want to say and how they want to say it. Da, 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 surfboards. Like surfing? Never done it. Never did it. Might try it. <laughs> and once they make one that, uh, well, no. Oh, yeah, why not? Well, if I get flown around, that might hurt a little bit. But just to float around? I could float around. All right, here we go. All right. Two popped out. Ooh, the Lord and the Hermit. Oh, what do we got going on? Hmm. What do we got going on? I'm not going to insinuate or try to read those two right away. Because they can have different meanings depending on what other cards that we have that come out. The Four of Pentacles. Okay. Alright. Where are we going with this? Where are we going? And then we've got the... What is going on with you? Then we've got the High Priest... Five of Swords. Okay, where are we going? And then the Chariot. Wow. Five of Cups. King of Cups. The Tower. Ten of Swords. And then the Five of Pentacles. What do you have going on? Okay, um... Opportunities, freedom, courage. Yeah. Um, okay, wait a minute. This isn't necessarily... Okay, I'm getting it now. I'm getting it now. Sorry, answer. Uh, um, okay. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Wow, you've got, you've got a lot going on. A lot going on. Um, we've got like one, two, three, four four major cards in this okay and i don't know if you know what that means to you but that means some big significant um a huge something that's going to be remembered is going to happen okay um now we started with the hermit and the lord now the thing about those two cards is the hermit kind of represents somebody who um or something Okay, not necessarily somebody. Uh, a gathering of knowledge, um, staying in the background, you know, watching when nobody knows you're watching sort of thing. 
but the Lord represents somebody who is out there in your face. Um, this is the way I want it, and this is the way it's going to be. So they're really kind of, okay, but then we got the Four of Pentacles, and things started to come together, okay? Um, the Four of Pentacles, you're, you're, you're building your... your um, you're building you're, 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 you're you know you're, you're you're bringing things in i want to say like um like uh, money wise you know you you're, you're building you want there's places you want to go and things you want to be so you're you're in the hermit phase but you're also the lord okay because you know what you want to do you you you're, you're keen you you watch from the background okay but you give off this persona of the lord all righty because of the four of pentacles because you want that you're building you're building you, you you've got a goal a future that you want for yourself and you're building Alrighty. then we went into the high priest now that that guy is is outgoing that guy is 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 um there's like out of the box there's going to be there's going to be something um like I said, out of the box there's going to be something that's not going to be really your thing that's going to come about um let me just say don't do it okay because then we got the five of swords that came up after that um the five of swords um is um things aren't going to end well okay um in one direction or another either you are going to um Yeah, no, I don't get a feeling of things ending well with, with this opportunity that's going to come up like this thing. Like I said, it's going to be something that, why would I want to do that? Okay, it, it, it's uh, just go with your gut and know that no, that's not something you should do. Okay, because you're going to come into yourself, the chariot. Okay, that's that other thing. You're going to take complete control and complete charge of where you're going. Like things are are going to things are falling into place for you. Okay, um, and then we have the five of cups. There's you. Uh, you know, you're 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 learning from 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 how other people like the hermit you're learning from how okay how did they do it all right okay they didn't get it okay why didn't they get it okay i'm not going to do that i'm going to do this okay because you're learning and you're gathering all righty you're watching others and figuring out how they do it almost like, like like watching uh the bear hunt the fish okay or in this case um whatever that lizard thing is uh, going after the fish okay it, figure out how they do it um, and that's what you're doing and you're gathering this information and things are starting to you know things are starting to come together for you okay because then we're going to get into the king of cups okay where you're going to have everything that you need to proceed okay because that's when you're going to proceed that's when the tower comes in that's when it's going to be okay bam i'm making this change and things are things are finally things are going it's going to be like an overnight it's going to seem like an overnight um accomplishment more or less okay um and then we went into the tennis swords and that's where i kind of got a little bit okay where is this going where is this going where is this going uh but then the five of pentacles came up after that and then you know i i put everything together and because that ten of swords kind of had me a little bit mm -mm. uh but what's happening with this ten of swords is whenever you do this this is going to stop Okay, that's when um, the Ten of Swords is, is that those past, those past things that went wrong for you. Okay, those past things that um, you know better than not to do. You know better than to do. Uh, you know better than to do. Okay, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's, you're learning from other people's mistakes. Okay, that's the Ten of Swords. And then we went into the Five of Pentacles where, you know what, you're finally at a place where you can leisurely just lean up against a tree. I'm just going to, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty good. Okay, the Four of Pentacles, you've gotten some things put away. You're on that right path. Um, the King of Cups, you're finally in a feeling of yourself and who you are and where you're meant to be and, and you're ready to proceed and, 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 and get going, okay? Because bam, you've got control of your life and things are moving, alrighty? Ten of Swords, you're not going to let those things from the past bother you. You're not. You're better than that. You're stronger than that, alrighty? Because then we get into the Five of Pentacles of where, you know, you, look, you've got, you know, the belt showing that, you know, you've made some accomplishments, 
the chase is still there. The chase is still there. You haven't stopped, okay? You still got places you want to be, but you are on that right path. Things are moving and things are progressing for you in a very, very good way. Alrighty, so yeah, this one here, you know, as it came out, I was like, ooh, what's that, what's that, what's that? But you know what, as I kept, as they always do, uh, came about and, and things are going to, to end very very well for you just remember when this high priest pops into your life when this this idea that's like out of the box um is something that you wouldn't do um you know like no don't 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 do it don't don't fall for this the sales spill don't don't uh you know the pitch whatever it is don't fall for it because you know what it just it won't end well okay it won't end well um it, you know some sometimes things do sound too good to be true okay remember that uh, because you are going to take charge of your own life okay you are going to gather everything you need um, emotionally uh, physically you're, you're going you're, you're getting you know you're getting your ducks in a row okay because yeah you will make it you will get there you will get there okay so let's see what the butterflies have to say shall we butterflies yeah so that's surfboards yeah that's you yeah, know that sounds about right sounds uh, sounds about the type of type of reading that somebody who would go surfing would get you know like again like that high priest that, that that somebody who's always looking for an opportunity you know that opportunity for the next wave all righty um the high priest isn't it it seems like it seems like it but you know what just wait because when that tower kicks in you know, when that, that's the opportunity you're going to go for. Don't go for, you know, the first choice isn't always the best choice. All right. Uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that. Uh, sobriety. All right. Is there something that you're kind of clinging to? Is there something that, um, you're kind of relying on now? Sobriety doesn't necessarily mean something that has to do with, um, alcohol or drugs or anything like that. Sobriety has, has negative thinking. Uh, get off of that. Uh, you know, it's one of those. Uh, there's something that you've been like almost like an addiction on. Okay, it's almost like you, it could be eating candy. There's something out there that somebody is telling you you need to be careful on on, on how much. Okay, you need to be careful on how much because um, yeah, it's uh, it's not a it's not a healthy a healthy way to healthy way to be. Okay, so let's see what the sacred traveler has to say. Da, 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 da. Yep, 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 yep. Wow. Okay. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Where are we? Cleansing waters. Purification activates vibrant life force. There, that has to do a lot with sobriety, right? That's uh, cleansing out the bad, bringing in the good. Um, you know that that's a lot uh, that has to do with this um, building up your information and building up your knowledge base and and, and building up yourself um, to become this king of cups you know you need to do all that to have that that high feeling um, that really good feeling of yourself you you have to um, gotta cleanse yourself detox get rid of that bad get rid of the good Ooh. pregnancy the birth of a child brings great blessings to you and the world. Well, there you go. There's somebody in your family. Well, you know what? I, I have said this that um, I guess this is there. There is going to be um, some news of, of a baby um, in your family. Of um, yeah, so get ready for it. And I know that that can that's broad. Um, but really, it, it, it's one of those that the fairies are kind of being really silly right now uh, because, you know, especially with this whole quarantine thing, you know, it, it's kind of like, yeah, I'm, I'm afraid there might be a baby boom happening um, after all this. Okay, so yeah, so there we go. That was the surfboard reading. Um, I think it uh, it really did resonate well with the surfboards. Um, did it resonate with you? You let me know. Uh, you like the video? If you like the reading, uh, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please give me a subscribe. It really does, really, really, really does help. Uh, share me out. Share me out. Um, you know, friends, family. Um, you know, maybe there's something there that uh, you know you really need to hear this. 
it does help and uh, yeah so you have yourself a very 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 good day and i will see you all next week bye Now we get into the last pile, pile number four, the sun. The one that seems to brighten up a room when they walk into it, whether they know it or not. Four of cups, see, whether they know it or not. There's some things out there that uh, you don't realize the impact you have on some people. Sometimes you tend to get lost in yourself and you don't, I don't want to say you don't think about others around you, but you don't realize about the others around you. There's a difference there. You see, it's not, it's one's not, you're not doing it on purpose. Um, but it's not like you, you need to learn um, to um, snap yourself out of it. Okay. It's, I know it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Um, it really, really is. But um, you can do it. All right. Let's see what else we got. See, we got Cronos. Oh, we've got some things looking out for you. Oh, the Tower. Wow, there's going to be some big changes coming in your life, the world. Now, you know what? This is something. We've got three major cards. Bing, bing, bing. That all represent something like really moving strong. I'm going to keep on going because I just want to know exactly where we're going with this. Then, what on earth? I, I I swear to God, this is, um, this is, wow, 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 okay, that's what I have to say about this one, this one, this one is like some major impact coming in, some major impact, okay, Four of Cups. It all, I, I strongly believe that it all comes down to this one. You not realizing who you are and what you can do and what you can accomplish. Okay. Um, so I, I, I just have a strong feeling that this is just a, a big way of reminding you, like a big way, like this, this, this reading um, with the cards that have popped out here are, are one of those that are like this, this is giving you a big kick in the pants. Okay. Cronos. Cronos is, is, um, uh, a strong sense of being watched over of of um, things moving in a way that they need to be be moving you know um, of one of those that um, I almost want to like cat with nine lives okay uh, but not in regards to life and death okay but more of chances things that are happening um, uh, things that um, are, move forward for you and sometimes you just realize wow that was luck okay it's not always luck okay um the tower the tower uh it, it this i think it has to do with this realize realize yeah you're going to it's, it's going to be something's going to happen that's going to give you that lightning bolt that 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 one thing's going to end it's going to end for something like it's, it's going to be I'm, I'm jumping ship because i'm tired of this that that's going to be this okay because then we get into the world okay you this is where everything really opens up for you everything is going to be coming your way big time like i i don't know how else just things are really moving for you okay because then we've got the lord card now this one here uh, because of after that one is the justice card and then we got the six of wands so so what i'm getting with the lord here is is um a strength a dominance a um a power of taking over a situation okay uh It's, there, there's something that um, with, with this whole tower thing, this whole uh, you, you're realizing um, and finding that cup. OK, you're realizing and finding things that um, is going to be like a big you're going to take over. You're going to take control of a situation where things are really going to fall in your favor. OK, Um we how I because we've got the six of wands that came up after the justice card and that is you taking control and leading the path. <coughs> Jackson, lie down. <coughs> One moment, please. Okay. We stop arguing. Okay, so six of wands, taking control of your life, leading the pact. Um 
then we get into the Six of Pentacles. And then we have the Wheel. And then we have the Seven of Cups. Okay, so, um, like when I said, some really big things. Uh, okay, so the Six of Pentacles is is you, like, you pinching pennies for a while, okay? But by choice, not because you have to. Uh, there's things that um, you have figured out that now uh, you can prepare yourself for, okay? We have the wheel, okay? This is, this is you um, just getting yourself situated in your own so that you can have that comfort that you've always wanted, that you knew you could have, that 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 is due you, that should be coming your way. Um, because then the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Cups, that's where you, you've put stuff away. Okay, it's right there. You can reach it. You can get at it. But, you know, you have what you need right here. You know, you can, you know, well, you can see it. It's all there. But you have a little bit put away. So, Jackson, please. Lie down. Enough. No. I apologize. So, okay, lie down. You can't get on my lap. You never could. Um, no, that's a lie. Uh, so, yeah. So, here we go. Let's recap, shall we? Four of Cups. Not realizing what you have. Okay? Not realizing, realizing what you have. Um... There is something there that was like put away for a rainy day, more or less, and you need to find that, okay? And you will. You will find that. Uh, we have Kronos. This is things coming your way. This is things almost like being watched over. Um, you know, certain things you, you might think, oh, no, my life had this bad, this bad, this bad. But you know what? There's been those good times, okay? When, like I said, it just seems like you were lucky. Um, but it wasn't luck, okay? It was not luck. Uh, the tower you're going to have that um, it, it, something's going to happen that is going to just make you do that switch okay it's going to make you do okay just making sure sorry I kind of got lost squirrel um, <laughs> it's going to make you do that switch um, like I said jumping ship you're it, it's going to be um, this like, like I said the tower it's on fire it's on fire you need to jump ship Alrighty, and it's going to be that realization. It's going to be, that's going to be the dawning. That's going to be, um, like I said, your lightning bolt. Alright, your light bulb over your head. Uh, whichever you want to call it. It's going to be that opportunity, that time, when things are just going to be a complete switch for you. Where you're going to realize who you are and where you're going and how you're going to get there. Alrighty, because, like I said, the world is, is at your fingertips. Everything is opening up for you. Okay, everything is opening up for you. Um take advantage of it all right take advantage of it um <clears throat> then we get into the lord card um and then the justice card and the six of wands uh this like i said this is something to do with something that you have been dealing with but you're coming into yourself and you're going to be taking complete control over that situation okay uh things are going to fall in your favor more or less um because like i said i see the six of wands here this is you taking control this is you you taking command of of everybody and leading the way of of how things should be Alrighty, because then we get into the six of pentacles this is you watching out um you're still you, you still give what you need to you still give what you need to because you know you're not you're not a bad person you're still got that generous nature but you will be uh, except pinching pennies a little bit okay you're going to need to do that you're going to need to um you know it'll be one of those things that do i need to order a pizza tonight now nah, i'll just make a sandwich you know find ways to to put you know a little bit extras away because um you're going to be really coming into yourself, okay? You're going to have your whole situation ready for you, okay? Things are going to progress in a way that you have planned, okay? Because you've planned it that way, okay? Things are going to come your way because we started off with Cronos, all right? Started off with Cronos. How can that be a bad reading, right? Because then we ended with the Seven of Cups, you putting what you needed away to for that rainy day, but... You know where it is. Unlike how we started with the Four of Cups where you weren't sure where to find it. Okay? We ended with you knowing where it is and how to get it. Alright? So, yeah, that's... 
this is, uh, yeah, this, this is you really progressing in, in, in coming into yourself. And, and like I said, that situation that you see, that seemed lost, um, isn't going to be so lost. All right. You're, you're not going to lose at this situation. Things are just going to open up and like, I almost want to say like fall in your lap. Not almost want to say, I did say fall in your lap. Things are, are luck. Not always. Okay. Remember that. Uh huh. There we go windfall <laughs> things are coming your way um adult children hmm is that what this is about um no i don't know you tell me that's when i'm kind of teetering on with the adult children i'm kind of teetering on um because it, it's one of those of we know who we are but we're still children. You know what I'm saying? Um, no, probably not. Uh, let me get back on that one. Because like I said, I'm teetering on this situation being involving adult children. Um, like the, uh, the whole issue that, that uh, is, 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 uh, is there. But... I'm really confused on that one. I don't know what the butter... Unless it was really just stuck to the windfall card. And, uh... Yeah. You know what? I'm, uh... I'm going to leave it. But I really don't feel that it was part of this reading. I think it was just an automatic stuck. You know, it was just happened to be there which does happen um but windfall that one is for sure a strong strong feeling in regards to that one so um you take it as you will but i'm taking adult children out of this reading i have never done that um but this time i really strongly feel that it has nothing to do with this reading um passion and pleasure savor your life remember that remember that we've got a good one we've got a good one okay yeah, I can tell it's getting later in the morning a little more traffic going by but it's still a nice day it's going to be a hot one today I think but it's Friday Ooh, the fairies are letting us know what is what the fairies are letting us know what is what okay your desire is within reach. Have faith as everything is working in your favor. See, like I, that's why I really think the adult children really wasn't part of this. And marriage, the fairies join you in celebrating wedded bliss. Well, there you go. Is um, now you know this could be I'm already married. You know what this this also means um, a, 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 a switch in. A, your current relationship it's one of those um a new phase okay because everybody changes we grow we change throughout um and sometimes your partner follows along and understands and goes with you with that change and sometimes they don't um but in this case um if you're already married it's one of those that are um you know you're, you're going to have that that little shift in, in something that's going to be you know an elevating positive experience in your relationship Okay, so there we go. Um, so yeah, so there is the sun. There is the sun. Um, things look really good for the sun, most definitely. Uh, like I said, your desire is within reach, and you're 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 on the right path of of getting there. All right, you just need to start start a little bit with that four of cups. You just need to start and just look a little bit, look a little bit for it, and then things will start to fall for you. Alrighty, so there you go. If you haven't already, please give my channel a subscribe. That does help me out. Um, if this reading, reading resonated with you, or if you just like the story, give me a thumbs up. Again, that is something else that helps me out. And um, yeah, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know uh, your stories. Keep me posted on how things go. Alrighty, if this did resonate with you and you're just still in the, um, you know, uh, the world where things are falling in place for you, you know, let me know how things go from there. I, I yeah, I like to stay updated. All right. So there you go. That is uh, reading number four. You all have yourselves a very, very good weekend and I will see you all next week. Bye now.